Well, Natalia, it's great to talk to you again. Thank you so much for being here. We've got a lot to talk about. Um, I don't know where to begin. Uh, maybe you want to maybe you want to fill me in on how you've been feeling the last few weeks watching the shows for the first time. I mean, it's um, it's different. Mm-hmm. I mean, we couldn't tell what the shows were um, like, what was going to happen in the shows. Like, we knew what the feedback from the girls, but we didn't know the details, right? So that was the first for me seeing all the shows and things like that. Mm-hmm. But even going on the site and seeing the goodbyes and stuff, it's hard. Mm-hmm. Like, it's hard to see all that because, like, oh my gosh, I did the same thing, and everybody was different. Everybody had their own personalities, even coming off the show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of cool to see, but also upsetting at the same time. Yeah, yeah. No, I can understand that. I, But you know what, I, what? One of the things I really love is that the Golf Channel is good about bringing back contestants, giving you another shot at glory or whatever, another a little bit of cash maybe in your pocket, and they did the same thing here. Um, how did you find out about the fact that you were going to be coming back on? Um, it was the night before, mm-hmm. and they were like, uh, we had a huge meeting, and the girls that were um, in the top three, so it was Glow, Selene, and uh, Marcella, they didn't know. So they, were, they weren't they were a part of us, the group or anything. They were hiding somewhere. I don't remember where they were, but um, we were trying to stay away from them and have a conversation. Um, and they told us, you know, get ready tomorrow to golf and stuff. And they all got excited. It was like, oh, what's going to happen? Like, we still didn't know the challenges or anything, right? Just mm-hmm. like um, normally throughout the other episodes, you would have to get ready for golf. You know, and um, we didn't have breakfast with them or anything, so they didn't know anything. They were already playing or hitting balls on the range, and we're just wondering what we're going to play that day. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you know, I thought it was funny. I thought it was really funny when you said that um, you were getting tired of being in that hotel. And it is such a spectacular place. Most people would give their eye teeth to be in that hotel. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, you're going to play golf and you're there to play golf and then you're stuck in the hotel doing, like, I didn't have a problem doing any of the activities that we did, but, you know, I was there to play golf and that's what I wanted to do. The course is amazing. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's the part I missed. Yeah, for sure. No, I I can see that. Well, when you did end up at the course and Marcella and Gloriana and Selene saw you for the first time, we only saw snippets of it and it, it almost seemed like, you know, Selene wasn't all that happy about it. And I just wondered, what was it like for you when you arrived and how did you guys all feel? Did you feel kind of odd or did you get a good reception? Yeah, we're, what happened? The girls were excited that I got um, there, the girls that got eliminated. And then the ones that were on the range, Marcella was just like, oh my gosh, what? what what's happening? <laughs> she had that kind of face on and Glo was happy and Selene was just kind of confused more or less. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she does seem not to be very... Um, I don't know, uh, open or something. I couldn't quite yeah, figure it out. She has quite a personality. She's very closed off. Yeah. She yeah. seems, uh, yeah, she has her own opinion about things and it's very, she's more quiet about things, mm-hmm. but she really doesn't have a personality in that sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's not all outgoing and bubbly like, you know, Gloriana right. is and stuff. Yeah. And well, Marcella, yeah. Hmm. They're both like that, so. Yeah. Well, um, the team challenge was, I thought it was great, you know money for everyone potentially, you know, in, in a team. So Marcella chose Shannon first. And I was wondering if you were surprised by that choice or did you um, think it was expected? No, I didn't. I couldn't even tell you. Like, it was kind of a toss-up of who any of the girls would have picked first, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like we all got eliminated. We um, They all seen how we played. You know, everybody knew how – we could play or can play, you know? Mm-hmm. And even for Megan, she played well, but she got sent to elimination and it kind of fell apart for her, mm-hmm. you know? So at least there was a chance and the girls knew how we actually could play golf, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, when we you had a, a chance to redeem ourselves, I guess I could say. So that yeah. could have chosen um, the person or the team that they wanted. Yeah. The way. So they yeah. probably already knew. I didn't, I could have, they might have, they might have already figured it out when they're on the range seeing us. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't know, it's kind of up in the air. Oh, that make that could make some sense seeing how people were practicing and who looked solid that day. Yeah. Well, right. um, so when you did actually come into being a team and deciding on who did what shot, did you have any choice in the matter, or did uh, Selene just say you, know, you do this, you do that, or how did that work? No, we um, we all 
all four of us went to eat shot, and we all kind of discussed which one was comfortable where. Mm-hmm. And I was fine at either location besides the, besides the first one because Sal and I already hit that shot. So it kind of mm-hmm. so either doing the one um, in the fairway or in the rough or in between the trees. And I mean, the rough was really tough. Mm-hmm. It was it's mm-hmm. like the Bermuda, but the fluffy Bermuda, right? Oh so yeah. It's like, you know your cuff is going right underneath it, so you had to play. You just had to play that shot. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hate yeah. that. I hate that kind of Bermuda rough. <laughs> um, oh, well, I know. Especially with water in front too, so it was a tough shot. Yeah, and you know, you you know, you you hit it fat. You was wet, um, and everybody you know understood that. But we didn't see a lot of sympathy from Selena. And on TV, she seemed rather well, well, unsympathetic, I guess, is the way. And I thought, wow, you know, for somebody who isn't very open, she she certainly does yeah, has a way of sharing her opinions in a way that's kind of. Oh, well. <laughs> well, like I said, she doesn't have a personality, and I mean, it was uh, it was a statement that it was wet. It's not like I'm complaining about it or going ahead and saying, that's why I hit it fat. I was making a comment, and she knew it was wet, so I just said it. I was like, yeah. it was a lot more wet than I thought, even in my practice wings, like I told her when I was talking. So I was like, I didn't hear what she said. Obviously, it was interviews, so yeah. that stuff doesn't bother me. And, Obviously, certain girls, especially me, I wouldn't say anything about uh, someone that you actually picked in a team. So mm-hmm. that's where my personality and my um, the way I was, you know, just brought up in general. I wouldn't do that. So yeah. Well, given you know you, you guys were uh, in the you know the group that was eliminated, did you, how did you feel going into these challenges? Did you have the same nervous sense that you did when you were first? Um, competing, or was it a different kind of feeling for you doing this challenge over the previous ones? Um, I think a little bit of both. I mean, yeah, we knew what was going on because it wasn't like the first challenge of, you know, the first, you know, the first day of the big break, you know, of all of us being new. It was like we knew what was going to happen as in the nerve-wise, but we didn't know what we're going to face that Mm -hmm. day. So I guess it's kind of both. You can... um, you can be nervous because you don't know what kind of shots you have to play and things like that. But you can also be prepared because you obviously know you're going to be challenged and you're going to have cameras on you and you're going to be, you know, having to focus on two shots or one shot, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. to make a difference. Yeah. I was wondering if you felt sort of more pumped in a positive sense than nervous in a, you know, oh my, you know, I have to make yeah. the shot. Well, I, didn't, I wasn't really nervous at all throughout the show. It was just, you know, it was a different it was it was just hard. It mm-hmm. was um, it was a different way of looking at golf, and that was new for me. It wasn't like I don't get nervous in tournaments. You know, off the first tee, you know, some girls are always nervous. I don't get just those feelings. I mean, I'm more, I'm more excited, and obviously not knowing what was happening ahead. You know, knowing what was going on that day that bothered me because I like to, you know, I like to know things in advance, and I'm a planned person. You know what I mean? So those mm-hmm. are the only things that didn't um, that were different that I had to cope with. So right. rather than having nerves, I had to deal with that. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, you know, it's uh, watching everybody. It seemed to be a little bit more of a fun tournament or a fun competition than than some of the past. Yeah, ones. it was. Yeah, yeah so it was. we all had fun. Yeah. What now? Did you guys get to stick around and watch the elimination with Gloriana and Selene? No. No. I wonder we why. Didn't. Why not? No. Um. I mean, just like the other challenges, we didn't know. Yeah. Who won? We knew after when the girls came back. You know. Mm-hmm. So oh. it was like first time seeing it on TV, just like the other. Yeah. Just like the other episodes. Marcella was there, though, which usually the one who has got immunity, you know, are off. No, no, the ones with immunity, yeah, they stay on the bench. Okay, all right. So she just didn't have a bench, she just stood there. (laughs) (laughs) Well, is there anything that happened that day or something that you want to share of past episodes that we didn't see that you want to share with us? Anything at all? Um, well, all the girls that got eliminated, I mean, they all finished well and they all finished strong. Um, I don't remember when the last time uh, we touched up on it, but I think it was Christina was eliminated. I think Anya was eliminated. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, Anya played well. She just had some unfortunate shots. Christina played really well. She played really well, too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they all had their their strengths when they went and when they did get eliminated. So. Mm. I mean, it's just the luck of the draw. Like I said, you have those bad shots, and it, and it points you into that direction where you have to dig yourself out of the hole. 
to get through elimination or you're going to get eliminated, right? So yep, yeah, yeah. It's and, like we all went through it. Yeah, and watching uh, Selena, you know, she really sliced that ball last night off the tee, and we thought, oh well, now Gloriana has a chance to get back and yet in there you see she's got a line out she can get to the fairway it was like you know when the, the luck is with you it's with you and when it's not yep. it's not and not exactly. to say Selena you know, isn't a great player been, she could have been out of bounds for all you yep. know you know yep. and then I've been one out of bounds two back on the tee and three in the fairway so yep. what would have been saved you know yeah yeah so it's it's it really is so you know so hard to predict what's going to happen. But anyway, next week is going to be exciting. I mean, watching Marcel against Selene, have you got an, anything you want to say about that without giving too much away before we close today? Um, I mean, they're both great players. Um, Marcella's attitude towards the whole, you know, the whole show hasn't changed. Um, um, Selene obviously has even people on Twitter and everything like that were like, wow, was she that fake the whole time, you know, or mm. was she that, you know, cocky to begin with? And I said, you know, she was in her own way because she was quiet more or less. And she decided to, you know, come up with um, certain comments here and there. And that's why she couldn't, she wasn't pinpointed, you know, mm-hmm. but Marcella, you can see she's got a personality that even in um, the happy hour too, before, you know, the number the season 10 happy hour or day 10, you know, mm-hmm. she's saying she's enjoyed every single moment that was here. You know, she's older. She's had more experience. She, she was just there to enjoy the whole experience and enjoy people um, that she met and enjoy playing golf. So her attitude I think is going to, is going to help her throughout, um, throughout the challenge uh, on Monday or the 18 holes that she has to play. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know much about Selene or Marcella, but just as of what I've seen, you know, Selene's always been nervous and she's always um, had problems with her nerves. We've seen it throughout the show and things, and she's going to have to overcome them tomorrow to win or um, or she'll be eliminated. So, mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. someone's got to pull through either way. Yeah. Um, but they're both good players, so. Well, it'll be fun to watch. It should be interesting, yeah. Yeah, fun to watch. Well, I look forward to talking to you about it and uh, giving your commentary on the final episode. And thank you so much for being here for me. It's been wonderful talking to you. And let's do it again one more yes, time. Anytime. <laughs> okay. Take thank care. You. Okay, bye-bye. Bye.